How to use DocuSign, DocuSign tutorial for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use DocuSign to sign our legal agreements as well as our basic day-to-day -day agreements and invoices. So let's jump right in. Now, what is DocuSign and what is the purpose of using DocuSign? Well, DocuSign is an online e-sign platform that allows you to sign different types of documents. Some documents that you sign with DocuSign can also be legally binding and they can be a great way to make it easier for you to sign a document no matter where you are around the globe. So if you take a look at the plans or billing of DocuSign, you can get started for free with DocuSign. However, if you're looking for legally binding documents, if you're looking to sign documents that are going to be worthwhile where you're going to you know have legalities associated with it then you do have to upgrade and for their personal plan it starts at eight pounds a month where you can sign five envelopes per month you reusable templates and over 900 partner integration for 20 pounds per month you can get shared templates collaborative commenting and customized branding now you can see that if you take a look at the lowest tiered plan you can only send five documents for e-signature out so that is a bit of a hassle and i would recommend that you do upgrade to the standard version which i find to be the best value for your money but even if you're not sure about using DocuSign right now, you can click on try for free to get started with DocuSign for free. They provide you with a 30 day free trial without any credit card requirements. So simply head on over to DocuSign and then start your trial. Enter your email address and agree to their marketing emails and then click on get started once you input your email address you will be led to your page of onboarding and from here we're actually going to set up our signature there are different types of ways you can set up your signatures on DocuSign so first off you're going to enter your first name and your last name I'm going to add my name over here Billy Davis and then you're going to add your phone number as well and then I will just click on next over here and now once you have completed your sign up, you will be sent a verification code. So you want to verify your account on DocuSign and we are going to just verify our DocuSign account. And now once we've done that, we're going to click on next over here to proceed with our DocuSign sign up. So once you have signed up, you're going to create a suitable password for your DocuSign account and then just click on next on the bottom. Now that we have activated our account on DocuSign, it's time to get started with authentication and proceed on to our DocuSign e-signatures. The best part about this is that you can sign documents from anywhere and set up your own DocuSign signature however you might prefer it. So we're going to add our industry and I am just going to save the purpose. Now, once we've done that, it's time to create our signature, which is one of the most important steps of using DocuSign. To do this, we're going to click on create your signature on the left and you will see your full name being displayed as well as your initials. Now on the left, you will see different types of templates available that you can pick out from. So you can pick out from any one of these templates that you want. You can even keep a really simple signature if you want, but you can also choose some of the more stylized versions. Now DocuSign currently does not allow you on the basic plan to write your own signature. However, on their premium plan, I do think that they have this feature available. Now, once we have chosen our signature, it's time to get started with sending out our agreements, templates, and invoices. So to get started with this, we can click on agreements on the top left and click on start now. And from here, we can start building our own agreements or agreements are called envelopes over here. So you can upload a document over here to add to your, you know, DocuSign uh, if you are already sure about the document you have created. But if you want, you can also get access to some of their templates by going into the templates tab over here. Now, from here, you can click on create template and you can build a simple template that you might frequently be using. So you can build a template name add a really standardized document. And if you're uncertain about how you need to build your document, you can even go into docs on Google. And if you go into Google docs and you will, 
open up Google Docs and you will see on the top you have a little template gallery. You have things like resumes, letters, business letters, and more. Informal letters, brochures, project letters, and more. So if I want, I can just take this business letter like this and I can add the basic information that needs to be provided. So what we're going to do is we are going to enter, let's say, our company name and all that. And below that, I'm going to leave these fields empty. So you want to make sure to leave the bottom field empty. And once you've done that, you can click on download on any one of your documents. So we're going to download this as a PDF, which I find to be easiest to use alongside or in conjunction with DocuSign. So we're going to click on upload and we're going to upload from our desktop. And from here, you can just open up your document. I'll just open this up and you can add your template name. Now you can add the recipients and who needs to sign. So if this is a in-person signer, if this person only is going to receive a copy of this document or if they are only going to be a viewer on this document. So let's say this is going to be a signer. This is going to be our supplier like this. And then we can customize this. We can add their name and email. We can also add an access code and more. We're going to add ourselves like this. And then I can also add a recipient, another recipient. And below that, you can also add a message to all of your recipients as well as an email message. And this can be a great way to make it easier for you to sign documents. So I'll just send this out. You guys can see this is a really basic template. I'll just click on next over here. And you will see once I have received this file, I can go on ahead and click on signature and I will place the signature tab over here so the person that needs to sign it can sign it over here. Then below that, if I want a date signed, a stamp, initials, name, companies, all of those fields can be inserted. Then you can click on save and close and then click on save and close on the top right. Once you've done that, you will be able to use this and you can click on use over here to use this template. And you will see that we have the sending option. So we're going to click on send and I'm just sending this to myself. So you guys can see how it's going to look like. So I can click on sign now over here because I've just sent this to myself. So I'm just going to get it back. And now I can review and sign this document. So I, I will click on continue. And here is my sign option. I can click on sign. And once I've signed it, my signature will be put in. And then I can click on finish. And just like that, we can get started with legally signing documents online from anywhere. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.